Hello, this is Bea, and I'd like to talk to you about a new and exciting feature that we are introducing with Stratus 3.5. This is the ability to import content automatically thanks to the Stratus workflow rules. So imagine that you're sharing content amongst different users, you have a collaborative workflow, you have a shared folder in this case, in my case specifically it's a Dropbox, and a number of users upload content maybe through their iPhone, maybe through a mobile device into this Dropbox or maybe you have an FTP destination or a shared folder somewhere on the network. With Stratus workflow rules, we can watch a particular set of folders or a folder or a destination somewhere and import content according to a number of criteria. So let me show you how. Here I have the Stratus control panel. This is the rule editor section and I have created a rule, import rule in this case, called it Dropbox import. Uh, this is pointing to a specific folder where this uh, Dropbox is associated with that computer and at the same time I've also told Stratus to then import the content and place it into a specific K2 bin within my system, in this case, viewer content. Not only just import the content, but in my case I also want to transcode it to XDCAM HD50. So I'm using Carbon Coder, in this case, one of the profiles to actually import that media and transcode it uh, and throughout that process. If uh, your media is natively supported by K2, say AVI, say MXF, then you can of course just do a native import. Or if you have a different transcode engine such as Elemental or Telestream Vantage, we also support that integration with Stratus. Uh, another interesting and really nice feature that we're introducing with Stratus 3.5 is the ability to send email notifications. In this case, uh, for every file that is imported successfully or whether it fails, I will get an email onto my work email address over here. Not only that, but you can also set up a number of conditions for your import. Let's say that you only want to import audio files into a specific audio folder within the K2 um, folder structure. Then you can decide all of the audio extension files are exported, importing directly into that folder, or by size, or by modified date. So of course you can combine all of these conditions into different rules and into different destination bins. So once my rule is set up uh, correctly and I'm all happy, I can save that and enable it. So what will happen next is that Stratus will pick up this file, this um, particular um, MP4 video in this case. Uh, here's one that was done earlier already successfully. And um, I'll be able to monitor here in the Stratus application within my rules engine. If I just go into the rules monitor, I can see here that there is already one rule that has kicked off that is looking at that particular video and it started to process that. Because the rule says that first it has to go through the transcode process, it's going to put that through a transcode engine and it's going to give me feedback and progress as the rule goes through and as the transcode completes. Once the transcode is complete, I'll see this, this as complete and finished and the clip will be available within my viewer content bin. So the whole transcode job has completed and the rule has completed as well. As you can see over here on my viewer content bin, I now have a new clip which I can actually play in low resolution as well as available in high resolution to work collaboratively across the whole system. This means users can now start viewing, editing, adding metadata, sending to play out, linking to a placeholder as part of the newsroom system. So there you have it. That's the new feature within Stratus 3.5 the ability to set up import rules for shared content. In this case, it was content that was shared across the Dropbox. Finally, just one last thing. If you take a look at my email uh, inbox, you can see that I now have a notification informing me that the import has completed for that asset. Um, and all of these functionality and features are now available on Stratus 3.5.